This is the foundation of the business. And somewhere along the way, people somehow forget this. Hey, listen to me and don't change for a minute. Change for your life. I want to tell you guys something. The secret in life that I've learned. Burn it at both ends. I'm like the fire causing mayhem. I'm not tired. I've been waiting. I'm not forsaken. I'm my young man. I'm jaded. Hey, listen. Hey, guys. Listen. So I want to ask you a question. Everybody, while we're together on this call, I want everybody to raise their hand and say, I'm going to be present on this call. Go ahead. Raise your hand. Say, I'm going to be present. 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 That's all I ask for. Okay, guys, listen, because you said you would be present and this isn't about me, but before I tell you anything at all, I need you to hear that. Like what I'm telling you is the truth and the greatest gift that you guys could ever give anybody that you run into is reciprocity. The greatest gift that you could ever do anytime that you run into anybody is to onboard them to your brand. So everybody right now, I want you to write down the word brand, B-R-A-N-D, brand. Then underneath it, I want you to write down your name. Now underneath that one, write down the company brand. There is a personal brand that represents the company brand. And every single person in my company, every one of them, they, they meet them before they meet the company. Now, listen, they may not, they may know he knew this was the Elliott group, but when he, and he pulled up, someone had to go shake his hand. Someone had to say hello to him. Was that anyone that he'd ever met? No. Listen to me every single day. There's people that call on the phone. You want to get your front end grosses up. You guys want to make more money than you know what to do with ruin the value of money for people. Write it down. Ruin the value of money for people. How do you ruin the value of money for people? Well, there's two ways. Number one, you give them more than they expected you to give. How do you do that? Write this down. You care about the client more than they care about themselves. Simply said, if Ryan cares about himself this much, I'm going to care this much. I don't care. I will out care him. And by the way, what you say, well, Andy, what if it's not my customer? I don't care. This is the law of greatness. This is the law. This is the new pillar of the new gross problem getting fixed. This is the foundation of the business. And somewhere along the way, people somehow forget this. They forget it somewhere. They forget why we're doing it. They get used to their jobs. I want to tell you guys something. The secret in life that I've learned is that when you onboard, everybody, everybody write down onboard. When you onboard somebody to your brand, okay? Stephanie walks into the, into the store. She doesn't know who I am. I say, how are you doing? It's a pleasure having you here today. What's your name? She says, my name's Stephanie. Stephanie, it means everything to us that you're here today. How can I serve you today? Who can I help you find? What can I do for you? I want to tell you something I explained in, in, in our seminar event this weekend. There's, there's no greater feeling you'll ever get than knowing that you help someone have a better day. Stephanie, imagine if I walked by you right now and I just said, I said, hello. I said, I don't want anything from you, but you look beautiful today. I hope you have a great day. And I walked off. I don't want anything from you today. I don't want anything from you. Like I don't need anything from you. I just wanted to tell you, you look beautiful. I'll tell her in front of her husband, have a great day. You got a beautiful wife. Have a blessed day, guys. People don't have the courage anymore to be kind to people. People don't have the courage anymore to touch people's hearts. People don't have the courage anymore to be different, stand out. They don't. You want to get your grosses up? We're going to care more. You want to get your grosses up? Everybody draw a picture of a house. You know how to do it. Draw a picture of a house with a little piece of paper in front of you. If this was the house and I drew it, underneath, draw a little box underneath the house. Little box. That's called the foundation. And when the foundation of the house, hey, I know you guys got great morals. I know you guys got great values. I know you guys care. I know you do. I, I know I'm not questioning that. What I'm asking is, have you lost your edge on making people feel like they're the most important people in the world? Because I want to tell you something. Prices are going to be higher on cars. And in a world right now where, where customers are getting back and they're, they're able to make better deals on cars, why would they spend more money with you? Why would they buy from you? Hey, I'm, I'm not planning on buying anything today. Why would they make an exception just one time 
to, I, I was planning on shopping, but I'm not going to shop. I'm going to stay and buy from you. Why? Why would they say yes to a payment that's bigger than they expected? Why would they say yes to a price that was bigger than they wanted to pay? Why would they say yes to y'all's price that's higher than a cheaper one down the road? Because of you. It's always been because of you. And if you are not that foundation, then guess what? Then it comes down to logical sense. Who's got the best deal? Who's got the best payment? Who's got the best interest rate? Who's got the best deal on the money? Who's got the lowest mile car? It has nothing to do with you. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. You know the secret? The secret to getting our damn gross up is for every single one of you right now, we're going we're gonna to onboard people onto ourselves differently now, whether they're our client or not. Listen to me. I want everybody to envision the entire property of your company, the whole place, service, parts, front, front store, internet department, manager's office, everyone. Anytime there's a customer journey, everybody, everybody write down customer journey. The customer journey, uh, the customer pulls up, who do they see? When they pull up, is there four people standing in front of the store? Everybody listen to me. How do those four people look? What's their posture? Do these four people look like they're smoking cigarettes, hanging out, waiting on the next customer? Or do they look like they're positive, having a good time? They look like they're pleasant to deal with. They're looking at us, waving, smiling, showing us love. What is it? What's my feeling? That's my customer journey. Haven't even got out of my car yet. What do I see with my eyes? How do I feel in my stomach? You wanna get your gross up? Everybody write this down. The first 90% of the time, the first 90, when you get your gross up, listen up, listen well, pay attention. The first 90% of the time that a client's in your store, zero dollars exchanges hands, zero dollars. Zero money exchanges hands. That means all the work you do, all the love you show them, all the handshakes you give, all the reciprocity that you give, zero dollar exchanges hands. That's called building value. And when value exceeds price, price is important. And then the last 10% of the time, it's when you collect 100% of the money. I heard Ryan just a minute ago tell me that gross is down. You know what that makes me understand? That the first 90% of the time, we're not doing right. Because of the 10% of the time at the end of the sale, when the money exchange hands, we're not getting enough of it. Which means we gotta go back to the first 90%, we gotta give more. That way, when the pencil comes out, when the proposal comes out, they love us. They don't care if it's more. They know that we care more about them than they care about themselves. And they'll say yes. Not just yes to the deal. Yes to all the deal. They'll take that for their trade. They'll pay that for the price. They'll say yes to 7.9% interest and not run you through the ringer. Or at 9.9% interest. This is the key. Amateurs don't understand this. Everybody, write that down. Amateurs won't understand. Amateurs only care about money. Amateurs want to make more money, but they're not good enough and they don't care enough. You're not good enough and you don't care enough. You want to get rich, out care everybody. I want you to envision if you were drowning and somebody come and saved you, the way that you would be indebted to that person and the way that you would care about them. I want us to treat everybody that way from now on. Everybody that we meet, they say go life. Everybody they meet, they get infectious energy. They get the biggest smile. They get the best handshakes. They get shown massive love. And we tell them, thank you. I appreciate you. We're grateful for you as many times as we can. Stephanie, could you imagine going into a company and having 20 people tell you, hey, we're grateful for you. We appreciate you being here. It means everything to us. Have a blessed day. I mean, could you imagine saying at the end of the conversation in the last 10% of the time when it comes for the company to make 100% of the money? Could you imagine telling the company, I don't know, I really wanted a better deal. I think something inside of you would say, I think they've ruined the value of money for me here today. I think they've been good to me. I knew it was going to cost more. This is clearly the best company in the world to do business with. They don't need to tell me how great they are. Everybody write this down. They don't need to tell me how great they are. They've showed me. So that's what I think the problem is. Amateurs tell people how great they are. Professionals onboard the client right. 
and show them the entire time. And that way, when the proposal comes out, the pencil comes out, it's game time. So I want to tell every single one of you two things. Ready? Two things that'll change everything right now. Number one, you're going to onboard people to your personal brand. That means every single person that's on this call, you, your name, Andy Elliott, that is your brand. Your name, David Long, is David Long. Stephanie is Stephanie. Ryan is Ryan, right? Ernesto is Ernesto. That is their personal brand. When they meet somebody, they need to over-deliver on their personal brand. Everybody draw a stick figure. Just draw a little stick figure. Put me. That's me. I must onboard people. I'm in charge of me. I'm the only manager of me. As long as I take care of me, I do what we just talked about on this call, then we know individually all of you are doing your jobs. Now, write down us and draw 10 stick figures. Now, if us, which is all of us, all individually on board, or everybody onto us, and we're all doing it, that client will walk past Gage, David, Stephanie, Ryan, Ernesto. They'll walk by all of us and they're like, oh my God, they're all this way. Can I ask you guys a question? Are you battle tested? Everybody write this down. There's four types of salespeople. I wanna know which one you are. There's order takers, they're order takers. You just walk in, you show the numbers, you walk right back out, you're an order taker. You should put an orange vest on you, we will ship you off to Walmart. You need to learn how to sell, you need to learn how to close. Then there's salespeople, they know how to come in and sell the deal, but they can't close it. That's not gonna work either. And then there's closers. What do closers do? They go in and they can close, but they close like this. Hey, Ryan, great news, payment's gonna be $4.99. And then they're like, well, I can't do that, I can do $3.50. And then they say, okay, well, sign here. I'm gonna let my manager know you can do $3.50, I'll be right back with you. And then you go out, your manager makes the deal at $400, and you go back in, your manager go, and you end up closing them at $400 a month and not $4.99. And then everybody's like, hey, did you get your deal? And you're like, yeah, I closed it. Dude, you closed it, but not for all the money. You gave up a hundred bucks. Come on, man. Like, I wish you could believe more. And then there's master closers. They can close anybody, anytime, any place, anywhere. Everybody listen to me right now. You want to get your, girl, your gross up? Okay, learn your payment closes. Get into the training system. Learn your payment closes. Learn your price closes. Okay? Understand this. Somebody says the price is too high. Dude, there's two prices you pay when you buy a car. There's purchase prices and ownership prices, okay? When we service these cars, we make them like new for you and your family. We go through a 127-point service inspection. We literally make sure they're perfect for you. We're not X, Y, and Z motors down the road. They're like, well, I saw one cheaper. Yeah, there are cheaper ones. They don't service them very well. Why? So they can sell them for a cheaper purchase price, which is the money you spend today, but then the ownership price, which is the service and the maintenance you need to spend tomorrow, you got to leave and in six months or a year, you're dropping 2,500 in the car because they didn't service it to be like new for you and your family. Now, if we made this car to be like new for you and your family, we serviced it perfect in the purchase price today. We made sure that we serviced it so well that the ownership price doesn't exist because it, it's, it's so well serviced. When you drive out of here, you can afford to spend more money with this and you got a nicer car. Listen, you're going to spend the money anyway. But if you want to waste precious, precious time in, in a service station, right? and waiting on your car and spending money on labor and parts, which to me isn't something that we like, which is why people choose to do business with us, then people spend a little more money with us because they know what they're getting when they drive out of here. The car's like new for them and their family. We don't want to be the lowest price. We want to be the highest in all the critical areas that are important to you and your family. We don't want to be the lowest in price. We want to be the highest in all the important and critical areas that are important to you and your family, okay? And driving out of here, knowing that your vehicle has been serviced to be like new for you and your family, that's probably pretty important to you, isn't it? By the way, I don't like cheap stuff to you. No. So let's not talk about cheap stuff. People that are the best in business can afford to charge a little more because they're greater in all the other areas. Am I correct? Right. That's us. Okay. We're the best. And if we've onboarded them, Stephanie, like I told you guys, and we've shook their hand and everybody said, hi, everybody write down 10 foot rule. There needs to be a 10 foot rule in the company in which I don't care whose customer it is. People buy when two things happens. Number one, logically the deal makes sense. I get that. But number two, this is what everybody's missing in every damn store in every company around the world. When people have the gut feeling that says, this is where I should buy my vehicle. This is where I should do business. They need to make their mind up that they're going to do business with us before we even ask for their business. They've already made their mind up. I'm going to buy my car here. I ain't even seen numbers yet.
I'm talking to the people today on this call who are the one percenters. I'm talking to the people on this call today who want to be the best at what they do and who are sick of settling. I'm talking to the people on this call today who are ready to go get what they're worth. Every single one of you, you work for the greatest company in the world, act like it. Every single one of you, you work for the greatest company in the world, raise your standards. Screw your goals. You'll always get your standard every month. Whatever you believe that you're worth, you're earning. There's not one person on this call that's earning less than their standard. Your standard, you'll always get. Always, in every area, your standards you'll get. Your goals are trash. We raise our standards as a company. And, and when we do that, our customers get a service that they never imagined existed. Number one, listen to me, how cool would it be, Gage, if you had a customer that came into the store and eight other people were just amazing to them. And that way, when you sat down with them and you were going over the numbers, you could see in their eyes that they knew they were in the right place and they would work the deal out with you. This is the secret. This isn't what can your people do for you. This is what can you do for them? Everybody in this store, an individual can be beat, but a team can't be beat. I've said it a million times. When you guys start playing as a team, you guys win. When you guys all start doing this, you win. And anybody that won't do this should go. Point them to excellence across the street. You guys have the best company in the world. Now it's time to build the foundation of this house and to make sure that we look in the damn mirror and we make sure that we're onboarding people onto our brand. And for the first 90% of the time, make sure that we do nothing but ruin the value of money for them by over delivering with, delivering with love and kindness and value. And then the last 10% of the time where 100% of the money comes into play, where we raise our grosses, we will have earned the right. Everybody write it down. Earned the right. You will have earned the right to ask for all the dough. Hey, Ryan, what happens if you ain't earned the right, big dog? You don't get the money. Now, if all of you together will all decide to take care of all the clients in the store, regardless whether it's yours or not, it is all of yours. Everybody protects everybody. We play the 10 foot rule in the company where anytime somebody walks by somebody within 10 feet, they make sure they acknowledge them, acknowledge them, say hi, ask if they can get them or something to drink and tell them we appreciate them being here. If we could do that, you guys just shut down every dealership in a hundred mile radius. All the business goes to you guys and people will pay you more than they planned on paying. Why? Because you gave them more value than they planned on getting. That's how this deal works. For anybody right now that wants to be the best, this is how you do it. Anybody right now that's not earning the money they want, this is how you get it. Ryan, our entire gross problem just got fixed on one call. You know why? Because if everybody on this call Everybody watching this, everybody unmute. Let's un all unmute together. Who who feels what I'm saying? Raise your hand. Absolutely. Hell oh, yeah. yes, sir. Hell yeah. Yes, sir. You guys feel it? Okay, guys, listen to me. Hey, yep. guys, I'm gonna tell you this. Your, your competition doesn't want you to change. I wanna tell all of you. They don't want you to do this. What I just told you to do is very, very hard to do but it's worth it. I want to explain this all to you. My wife, me and her are on fire and we're super close. Do you know how hard it is to keep a great marriage? Does anybody understand? You got to put a lot into it. Am I right? You got to put the other person before you every day. Because the second it becomes about you, they don't like that no more. We're going to put people before us. Everybody listening. We're going to put people before us. We're gonna make sure that every single one of you, when we get off this call, hey, listen to me and don't change for a minute, change for your life, change for the rest of your life. Do you guys think this world is thirsty right now for winners and leaders, yes or no? Yes. yes. Yeah. Do you think that people are thirsty in their families for leaders, yes or no? Yes. 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 Thirsty in business, are the kids thirsty for leaders? Yes, yes. everybody is. All of you listening to me, Every one of you right now, you're not doing what I say. This is what you needed to do your whole life. We're all gonna make a commitment right now. This is the way that we're gonna run until we die. And we're gonna and, and we're gonna out love our competition to a point to where literally no one will say yes anywhere else and they'll say yes for twice as much with us. Why? 
because we're going to ruin the value of money for them and give them more. Cut the leash, guys. Cut the leash. Give more. Care more. Do more. Give people what you want. Do you want people to be nice to you? Yes or no? Yes. Give them what you want. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now. 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. I want everybody to decide to make a decision today. Give what you want. If you want money, give it. If you want, if you want people to be good to you, be good to them. Very common sense shit. Very easy, very simple. If you guys can pull this off, every single one of you, if you can pull this off and wake up, we just raised our gross through the roof. You guys must all have each other's back. What I love about the military is when they go into war, one person watches the other person's back. It allows that person to give all they have because they know they have brothers and sisters behind them watching their back. Companies just don't have this anymore. They say they have it. It's like telling my wife I love her, but not showing her. When you get to the pencil and you tell your customers how much you care about them and love them, if you haven't shown them that the entire first hour you've been with them, they're not going to believe you. And you can't convince them to believe you the last 10% of the time. If the first 90%, you didn't show it to them. Everybody get it? This is the secret, okay? So Stephanie, I don't even have anything more except for, for, I would add one more little piece of spice to it. Believe, believe that you guys are the best. Believe that there's not a better place in the world that the client could be. You believe that. And if you care more than the client cares about themselves and you believe that, everybody will pay whatever you ask. You must believe. I must look into your eyes and see that you believe. Because if you don't believe, you can't give me something that you don't have. You can't convince me to believe when I don't see that you believed. Okay? All right, guys, what do you think? Can we do this? Yes? Okay? Do you guys feel like this will fix our problem? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Okay. Are we better at this than anyone else in the world? Yes or no? We are. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. We are. Yes. Yes. And by the way, if you weren't good at it before this call, it's just a simple decision right now. Okay? Everything starts in your life when you just make a decision. We're going to make a decision. This is the way we live from now on. On the phone, in person, 10-foot roll runs, and we're going to make sure that we ruin the value of money for people. And then when we ask, listen to me, we are the best. We believe we're the best. We've shown them that we're the best. We're good. And they'll be happy to pay you. They'll be happy to give you their money, okay? Because people love good service because it doesn't exist anymore. It may exist from one of you, but when it exists from all of you, oh my God. That's what David Long experienced this weekend. He walked into my company and there were a hundred people that everywhere he turned, made sure they walked up, shook his hand, showed him some love and made him feel important. By the way, we had four or 500 people here. We did it to every single one of them because that's what we do. We're the best. We're the elite. We're the top 1%. And over my dead body, will I let anyone in any other company that does what I do, do it better than me or our team? No ways. It's time to get crazy, guys. Okay? The next level of our earning opportunity just started today. Let's go crush it. Let's go, guys. Thanks, Andy. Andy. Yeah. Do it. Have a blessed day. Hey guys, I just want to tell you, you're the true one percenters. You made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon.